what are our value? All successful women. Uh, Oprah, Ariana, love her. But let them know that this is important to you. I'm going to make time for you for this time period. But then during these hours, I'm going to need to work on it. So Mayel, she's making a power move because now she's going to take those millions of dollars and become a venture capitalist. I have opened it up and found all these free courses that teach you about marketing, running a business, trail, or a path. Hey. hey, I'm so we're, glad right? to be back, right? Right, right, right. We're That's back right. for another great episode. We are in March, which is Women's Entrepreneurship yes. History Month. That's yes. how I'm phrasing it. Even though it's Women's History Month, I'm saying this is Women's Entrepreneurship History yes. Month. Give it up for the woman. Yes, yes, yes. So women are coming in leaps and bounds in starting businesses, um, entrepreneurship, development. I mean, we are taking the world by storm. Yes. And we all know Beyonce. We all know Rihanna. <laughs> we all know uh, Oprah. Oh, Ariana yeah. Huffington. I've been following her. Ariana Love Huffington. Her. All successful women who are making great strides yes. in business and everything they're, they're accomplishing. Mm-hmm. And I think it's so important that we highlight and we talk about women entrepreneurship because not too long ago, and I'm sure Mary's going to talk about it, we couldn't even own property. Yeah. We couldn't even own land. We had to rely on men. Um, we couldn't spend money. We couldn't, we couldn't hold jobs. Mm-hmm. Now we're holding jobs. We're driving companies. I mean, we're investing and in doing so many wonderful things. And for women who are juggling many things like motherhood and family and relationships, yes. it's so much that we take upon ourselves, but we still have the efforts to establish these, you know, business global entities. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned Rihanna, Beyonce, and some other entrepreneurs, but social media has also brought about more entrepreneurs. Huge. Yes. Huge. And we're joining the club too. Exactly. Without a doubt. We We are. are joining. I'm sure many of you have heard of Nicole Lynn, who had this clothing line she started and has boomed into so many brand deals. Mm -hmm. Um, Kiana Watson is is a realtor in Georgia that I follow, Mm. and she's open Agents for Success. And Tabitha Brown. Oh, who hasn't heard of Tabitha? Tabitha Brown, and what's the name of her wig? I forgot her name. I don't know. Diana or something? Donna. Donna. Donna? She calls her here Donna. (laughs) Listen, she's an inspiration. I mean, yes, just doing what she loves with Mm -hmm. the going vegan and doing the dishes and creating recipes and filming it, I think is wonderful what we're doing. Yes, and it is. just to note that that traditional way of trying to start a business, there's so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't really listen. have to rely on people or, you know, I guess expect celebrities to toot your horn. You could toot your own horn yeah. and establish something. Without a doubt. I mean, what's so fascinating to me is when I think about my mom. Mm. And my mom, you know, she was in the 50s. Mm -hmm. So she couldn't have a checking account. She couldn't own property. She couldn't have anything in her name. It had to be with her husband. Mm -hmm. And now, like in 2019, we now see that most of the new businesses Mm -hmm. are 50% women-owned. And then of those, about 18 to 19% are women of color. Mm. And when you look at the amount of money that these businesses are making, Mm -hmm. it's in the billions, Mm -hmm. like $350 billion. And this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that these women are employing 350,000 people in our country. Mm -hmm. So not only is it about women leading a company, they're also bringing people to their companies to work. And it's a different dynamic when a woman owns a company. Certainly is. To feel what we bring the table, you know, right? let's face it, it is about balance. Yes, right. How do you do that? Multitasking. And yes. that's why I love when you speak of balance. Right away, I think of Ariana Huffington. She talked about balancing. One thing that's very important is connecting. Mm. She talked Networking. about simple things like resting, right? <laughs> she has recharge. nap pods. Yes. So at her business, she has a nap pod. Yes. Oh, wow. You can go and take a nap. And that's oh, wow. very important. People <laughs> don't think of it, but you have to rest your body to, one, recharge. Yes. You want to keep your circadian rhythm yeah. on point. That's Absolutely. important. 
Absolutely. Do you know why she made that important? Why? She was so exhausted. Yes. You read that? Yes. She fell she asleep fell. and hit her face. She oh, had to get goodness. stitches in her face. Mm. Like, it wow. was really bad. And she said, is this success? Because <laughs> right. people connect success to grinding. I'm grinding. Yes. Uh, but yes. what good are you if you're not recharging and resting while you're grinding? Yes. You know what I mean? And yes. I struggle with that. I don't yeah. want to rest. Yeah. No. You know, I, it's hard to turn my brain off, yes. you know, because if you're thinking about funding, you're thinking about outsourcing, mm-hmm. you're thinking about how can I make those next yes. steps in mm-hmm. my business. And that's where it is hard to understand mm-hmm. how do we shape our businesses as women entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. And I think for us, it's about how can we do it with our cell phone? Mm-hmm. Right. How can we keep things simple, streamlined, yeah. mm-hmm. delegate? Delegate. Yes. That's I right. have a hard time delegating. I know. Because you know? that's the, I, I won't say women in us, but we tend we to wear to a lot. It. We, we tend to think that it, it won't get done the way we want it unless we do it. Right. So we tend to take too much upon ourselves. And then at the same time, at the detriment to ourselves, we don't rest. We don't recharge. You don't recharge. And that's why it's so important because they say it all the time that in order for yourself to regenerate, it needs the rest. Yeah. Needs your body needs a break. Oh, and this is also the problem. I think we as entrepreneurs, we get to a certain level mm-hmm. and then we really don't know how to go big. Uh, you know, like I've seen some, I forget who the woman was. It was in the news just recently because she sold her company. She didn't oh, Mayel. sell. Yes, Mayel. So mm, Mayel, she, she sold yes. her company mm-hmm. and people were really, were like Sick. coming down on her. Mm-hmm. But the truth is she's making a power move. She did the right thing. She's making a power move because now she's going to take those millions of dollars mm-hmm. and become a venture capitalist. Right. And help so, other people. Exactly. And because guess where she started in her kitchen. I know. And see, what we need are women who are venture capitalists who understand that we mm-hmm. need that money mm-hmm. at the beginning, that mm-hmm. 10, 20, 30,000, mm-hmm. so we can purchase some of our net, you know, needed yes. items, mm-hmm. or we need somebody to help us, you know, get those invoices right. full, or, or hire some staff, mm-hmm. or buy equipment. Mm-hmm. All of those capital kinds of expenses mm-hmm. that you as a business owner will need to right. scale. Yes. Right, exactly. So what in essence she's doing is... Selling her business so she can make more business, especially so women entrepreneurs, right. to make them more in the pool. Because we get, we get, I won't say we, but people will get upset when they hear, oh, she has this great business and she sold it. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? That makes it more mm-hmm. available to other business. That other person who's probably in her kitchen right. doing the same thing that wants funding or needs help. She's able to help more people. Because right. she understands what she needed at that point right. that she couldn't get. Yes. And I think that's what happens a lot of times. The scaling. When a woman is a leader, scaling. to try and go to the standard ways of mm-hmm. finding money, mm-hmm. you get no's mm-hmm. instead yes. of yeses. Yeah, they say that a lot. Women yeah. Is, I mean, and I think when I went to look at, you know, where are there some amazing places for women to get money, mm-hmm. you know, the... Carter's Women's Initiative has funding, Tory Birch Foundation and Amber Grant Foundation, the Women's Venture Fund, Women's in, there's even like a Black Girls Fund. Mm. I mean, but you know something just to find these things. Right. You go into Google. <laughs> You get inundated. Not, well, what happens is you get all this sponsored stuff. Yeah, which you would want you to pay. Which doesn't help you. Right. You have to dig. Yes. And, yes. you know, who has time for that? Especially right. if you're trying to run a business. Right. Correct. Yeah. I mean, so, and then once you find that, mm-hmm. if somebody doesn't make it so that it is a mm-hmm. quick pitch right, right like you as a person who owns a business and i think we even are trying to right. do that yeah. as the three ladies podcast what's our five minute elevator pitch mm. you know yeah. that's yeah. not easy yeah. right especially yeah. we're trying to balance stuff right 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 it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not it easy right. but you know every move we make in a direction is moving us towards our goal and that's why i always remember before my head hits the pillow every night <laughs> I say, did I do something towards my goal? Because if you don't move in that direction, Progress. you That's won't, right. you won't, you will never succeed. Right. You know, you know what's to say? Now, how do you eat an elephant mm-hmm. bit by bit? Well, you I know, think Oprah said it best. You made me think of it. She yeah. said, just do the right next step. Whatever's the right next step for you, right? 
That's it. Don't focus on all this. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes the problem is I don't know what that is. Okay. And yeah. so it was very interesting when I started just Googling, I mm -hmm. found this thing that Goldman Sachs has something called 10,000 Women. It's a oh. program that they have, and it's very interesting because I opened it up and found all these free courses oh, that wow. you can sign up free. for okay. that teach like that. you about uh, marketing, mm -hmm. about running a business, how do you start? Mm -hmm. And it's like these little free, you just log in. Oh, it's wow. something through, uh, when you log into their website, right. and we'll put that in the notes. Right, mm -hmm. that's important. When you log into their website, you can just log in and become a member of this free course, and it takes you through these videos that are like 15, 20 minutes. It talks about building a community. Mm -hmm. How do I market to people who are about what I want to do? Mm -hmm. It's like each little bite-sized thing, okay. which I don't need a certificate. Right. I need a start. trail or a right. path or yeah, something. Yeah. Right, right, that's right. right. And that's great because so many people think, that, oh, I'm so inundated. I don't know how to use social media. I don't know how to promote my business. It's too much. Maybe I should hire somebody, but I don't have the money to hire somebody. Mm -hmm. Just start where you are. Like start us. where you are, like you, you told me. You know, start uh, right where you at. Start where you are and every day improve it. That's it. Well, and also, too, it's like what are our value? Mm hmm our young people know mm -hmm. how to do social media. That's true. That's and true. so what young person right. doesn't want to make $50, $100? Right. 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 You know, so let's... Or get the, you know, the cred. That or the, exactly the mm -hmm. credentials. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to get some high school students mm -hmm. to help us mm -hmm. because maybe they know how to do this social media stuff a little bit better than we do. But I'm thinking, I even asked my son and... <laughs> It's like getting them to do it right. is the issue, but yes. that's a whole nother story, right? Yes. Well, yes. I think, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, mom asked me. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. You know, I think about it, they'll rather go work for somebody else and do and the same thing. That's exactly. True. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Work for Because as so. you were saying, and I'm like, why won't he do it? Buddy? Well, it's like yeah. I didn't mind cleaning houses for somebody else, mm -hmm. okay. but I wouldn't clean my own or, okay. or clean my mom's house. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Now I see what it is. Yeah. So yeah. Auntie Eunice or Auntie right. MC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If y'all ask him, maybe right. he'll do it. Okay. But I mean, what do you think it is that we struggle as we start to formulate our own entrepreneurial journey? For me, it's about how do I manage that nine to five, right? Mm -hmm. Then I come home and then what? So that's where that work balance life comes in. And the discipline. And the discipline, setting boundaries so etching out time for this family. is for family and that's it turn the phones off right mm -hmm. this is the time i'm going to work out right? yeah this is the time i'm going to church etching out that time bringing the child to work mm -hmm. or right. little cutie right my little cuties <laughs> you mean my little elephants or my little dog. Whatever right, like like, like harmonizing it is yeah. what I'm saying. Like if you have to bring them to work, if you whatever you have to do, right. that works for you, right? And have your family buy in and know, let them know that this is important to you. Right, bring yeah. them into it. Right, that they're not being ignored. This is also important to mommy. Right. This, and, you know, I'm going to make time for you for this time period. But then during these hours, mommy needs to work on this. And even letting coworkers know, listen, Family's important. I had a coworker. He let me know that he was a single dad, mm -hmm. and there was a day that he had to leave work hmm. because his daughter got off the wrong stop, the bus at the oh. wrong stop. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Keisha, I need to go." And because I knew what he was going through, I oh, said, yeah. "Go, I got you covered." And see, I so think that's what I mean about harmonizing right. it, right? Yes. With women owners, we understand that more, right? right. Right. We understand that sometimes you right. need to yes. be in both places right. and right. that we shouldn't have to mm -hmm. give up our family desires and needs and, and you wants. Can't. You no. can't. And you have to keep in mind that some things are going to get left incomplete, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to get used to that too, to say, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to complete this today. Tomorrow I'm shelf it day. and tomorrow's another day. And the other thing too is perfection, throw it out the window. It's <laughs> Why are we looking at you? I don't know. And I just turned my head this way. <laughs> this, that. 
is is some, it's, something it's, I'm working on. Right. I understand. I mean, you know, yeah. I've struggled with perfection for a right. long time. And yes. then I think just as I've gotten older, mm-hmm. I realized. That's where I'm at. I'm like, listen, if I don't get to clean the house, it ain't going to happen right, today. Right. It's okay. <laughs> right. I embrace the mess. Yes. But know. now I've adopted this thing about because I, I want to live a luxurious life. Okay. I will I will find the money and hire a cleaner. Okay. Yes. I will Allocate drop it. off laundry so it can okay, get done. There you go. Yes. There yes. You go. And days when I cannot cook, I will order out. Hey, because taking things off your plate. Taking things off my plate. Because if not, I will burn myself out. Yes. You'll find right. me on the road as a roadkill and just step on it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And what good are you? And well, what, what are, and at what, this point. Exactly. Right? Yes. It's called the queens of delegation. Yes. Thank Thank you. Yes. yes. My mom always told me, she said that you're the engine to this ship. If this ship break down, it's not going nowhere. That's right. So it's I got to maintain the engine, do the oil change, fuel it, <laughs> whatever it has to be done, wax on, wax off. <laughs> I'm going to take care that's of it. That's right. Yeah, but that's I think right. what I like about how we're approaching this is that we're we're looking at, so what's our content? And right. then once we have our content, mm-hmm. then we understand, so how do we mm-hmm. get this mm-hmm steps to get it out there like right. what's our social media plan mm-hmm. what's our marketing plan what's right. our way to connect to people mm-hmm. like we're having a live event right. at, 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 towards the end mm-hmm. of this month and so you know we're looking at those in the future and it's not it's like we we have lots of ideas mm-hmm. and we're making a list right. but we're kind of starting to stay present with what we need to accomplish in the next three to four weeks and we're learning to pivot a right? little bit, yes. We're learning to pivot. Sometimes <laughs> things don't work out exactly the way you plan. Yes. So you say, you know what? I'm going to go this way. Pivoting, a basketball player knows this. Mm-hmm. That one leg goes down. <laughs> it doesn't move. It's just you're going to do a different move. Really? Right? That's the pivot, right? Mm-hmm. But okay. you're still in place of right. which way you want to go. But I think it's sense. hard because like right now, we have to think about, so what is our five-minute pitch? Mm-hmm. If we are to go after a grant... Do we have like a plan of where we see what we want to do in two to three years? Mm, you know, I and I think, think so about that. it's yeah. hard to do that when we're trying to stay present in the moment as well. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the struggle right. is that we get into the moment of doing mm-hmm. what we need to do. But mm-hmm. you do, do this really well. She really goes big. Yeah, she was sitting All down there. She was like. <laughs> We gotta make ourselves available because Oprah's gonna call us any day. I know. I'm telling you. Right. And she talks about lipstick. We're gonna line. be on the own right. channel. Right. And she but talks about, oh, we're gonna buy a building down here. So I know. She yeah, like, like, <laughs> y'all didn't see that? <laughs> I'm just like, and, okay. Right, right. Like I said, and so what I tell her, let's put that on the list. <laughs> right. I have no what I love about y'all. I have the y'all don't Keisha say list. Keisha, no, that's not gonna happen. You right. say, you know what? Let's talk about it later. Let's put it on the list. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Allow me yes. to have my dream. The Keisha list. Yes. Right. <laughs> like I'm, Oprah. I'm starting to heavily believe in, and I and I say this, and I have that as a quote in my email. It's like, what you are seeking is also seeking you. You of said course. that to me. And I find this so many occasions where I was just telling Mary on the ride here, I was, you know, doing something with my mom's phone and this video popped up and I don't know why it was, it was frozen and it kept playing the same thing over and over again. So I said, let me stop and let it, let me listen to it because right. it wouldn't stop playing unless <laughs> I listened to the whole of it. Right, right, right. And it was speaking my language. It was uh. telling me that, you know what, something is coming and I should prepare for it. And it was something that I was thinking about. And it was just like the right message that I needed to hear. Right. So sometimes when we think that, oh, life is happening, what's the thing happening? Nothing um, is a coincidence. It's happening coincidence. for us. Right. Yes. yes. Oh, I, totally I know that agree. nothing is a coincidence. This yes. is not a coincidence. No. Right. Yes. So yes. I yes. highly believe that. And the meeting that we had yesterday, oh. in that meeting, right away when he said something about real estate, right. you <laughs> jumped right in my head. Yes. I like, I, the, the antennas went up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I was like, like ding, 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 real estate, oh, right. property. Mm. Right. So that's what I mean. Right. You do have to think big. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we want to build wealth. We right. want to build legacies. We right. want to build something with our companies that's mm-hmm. meaningful. Right. And it's a balance, mm-hmm. which right. I think is hard to right. manage, the right. small picture and yet keep your big picture in mind. Right. Okay. You know, and, yes. and sometimes it's, what is the big picture? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Because I think it's difficult to think, 
really big, right. Mm, right. you know, really aspirational. I mean, in my mind, in the back of my mind, right. is there. I have the hundred million. Okay. You know, write that check. M- Mine's at listen, the front. Listen, <laughs> I don't. Right here. I don't. I have it in the back of my mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. because I'm putting out that energy yes. to attract whatever that is, the hundred million. Okay. But it is. It makes you scared in right. some ways. Okay. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. I right? know. I know. Mm-hmm. But still. Yes. You know because you know that somehow. You need to take, you need to lay down our foundation, right. which I think we're doing really I interesting. Think we are. Yes. I think we, we have are. our meetings, right. we're very structured, we're consistent, we're thinking right. about what's yes. meaningful to us for content and sharing. Right. And so I think that's what the message is mm-hmm. that it's about showing up. Yes. It's about surrounding yourself with people who are like minded. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's going to support you in your dreams. Exactly. But in all of this, ladies, let's not forget family. Okay? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's important. That's why we're working on this. Let's not forget family Mm -hmm. and finding that time for them. And this song is in my head. Can I please sing it? Sure. Go ahead. Go for it. it. So wait. Wait, wait. What's... (laughs) (laughs) It's by Harry Chapin. Okay. The Cats in the Cradles. Oh. And the Cats in the Cradles and the Silver Spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. It's an old song. I want y'all to check this out. The song chronicalizes the boy. He was born. Uh Then he became a teenager. And now he's an adult. In the song, he says to his dad, come play ball with me. Come hang out with me. And dad is like, not right now. Please listen to this song. Not right now. I don't have time. He's busy. Mm -hmm. And the dad says that. And the son says, I want to be like him when I grow up. He always looks at his dad I want to be like him when I grow up. He grows up, and guess what? Hmm. The dad is retired. Now he's saying, I want to spend the time. time hang out. And guess what the son says? I don't have the time. I don't have time right now. Mm. Well, you know. So please, please, please. <laughs> that's that, a full circle. Full circle. Don't forget family and mm. all of this. I don't like think, you said, that's well, what we're doing. Maybe right? what it is is it's that you don't, it's not like you have a, it's about how you make your business as a fabric. Okay. And that you weave your children into it in some ways Mm -hmm. because face it you know you know well let's face it if you're building a business one of the best things to do is to hire your children what a tax write-off that is i'm glad you said it i mean come on hire Mm -hmm. your children Mm -hmm. hire your cousins hire your uncles hire your aunts Mm -hmm. that's right i mean i i think there are some opinions about you know don't hire your family you want competent people. Well, of course. Right. <laughs> you don't want, well, you don't want the crazy man. The kids got to learn. Right, right. But you want competent just, people. Well, you know, you can't just say uh, hire no. the symbols because you know certain people, even though they mean well, they are probably going to drive you more crazy <laughs> than help you. So, well, you never well, know. Well. <laughs> look, as well. I look at my beautiful daughter on the side, <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> Well, it depends. It depends. Well, it comes with a certain amount of sometimes friction. Right. But I think sometimes, too, there's mm-hmm. an unexpected love mm-hmm. and kind of endearment that right. you've got these shared moments, right. even though they may be just uncomfortable. And that's where I'm going with it. Yes. Mm-hmm. My mom, she made me go get my cosmetology license. I really? I didn't want to go get it. But she said, if you want to come back here in the backyard, don't forget. I the, know. The shot was in the backyard. You're going to go get your license. I'm glad she forced me to get it, but it allowed me to be in there. I was in there with women telling their stories, learning so Mm -hmm. much. It just taught me so much, and she had me right there with her. Mm -hmm. She knew what she was doing. And think of the memories that you had. Right. That's what I'm saying. Those are working, rich. Working like, alongside with your Oh, wife. yeah. Yes. Prices. Yes. I learned so much from My her. mother taught me how to sew. Right. Oh, and same. we, when I was in college, mm-hmm. how did I make extra money? Mm-hmm. I sold, I mean, I, I went to mm-hmm. and worked in a fabric store right. and s- made people's choir dresses. Right. Yeah. You know. So look okay. at that. $20? See, that gift, that hey. connection right. with the family. Well, my mom taught me about real estate. You right. Know? Exactly. I, I bought my first house That's because amazing. of my mom. You That's know? Right. She said, when you leave this house, you're going into another house. Thank you're that's not going to get an apartment. That's right. amazing. And that's what she did. So I always had, I always saw her as that person that wow. is possible. Yes. And I'm going to do this. 
and I always admire day. your mom for that. Yes, yeah. yeah. So and that's why I still have that entrepreneurial real estate bug yes. in me still. Well, and yes. I think it's that's very cool. key is that you have to see someone who can do who's done it. Does it. That's right. why I said bring the kids along. Right. Yeah. Let yes. them know. Yeah. Let yeah. them be part of it. Yes. So. Yes. Because that's in the back of the head, that's there. Yes, right. it is. So what's some of our so, key takeaways? Key takeaways. I'm putting my glasses on. Well, <laughs> Mama got to see. <laughs> You know, I think for me, it's to to balance my schedule mm-hmm. and not get overwhelmed mm-hmm. by what has to get done mm-hmm. and recognize it's okay to take it step by step. I like mm-hmm. that. I you like know, that. To, mm-hmm. to, to realize that sometimes those small steps every day, even if it's teeny tiny mm-hmm. right. and not within my expectations, right. it adds up. Mm -hmm. It adds up. I like that. My key takeaway is to allow your body to rest. Mm. I'm serious about that. Because what good are you going to be if your body is not recharged? You're not going to be productive. Right. So get your rest. It's important. What's your key (sighs) takeaway, (laughs) Yo-Yo? I think think I have two. Um, One of them is definitely I'm going to marry about doing one thing each day towards your goal. I like that. You know? And it doesn't have to be anything big. It just be something small. Even as small as writing a to-do list mm-hmm. of the things you're going to do the next day, that's something that's moving towards your goal. Because I think if you see it visually, that you have things to write down and things to accomplish, you'll move further. You'll, it's you'll, the you'll journal. Stay, it's the journal, which we'll talk about on another yes, episode. Yes, I know. Forget work-life balance. Yes. Let's do work-life progress. Right? Yes. Whatever you track. It, it, you, it moves you towards progress, I right, believe. Right. So it's very important. Me writing it down holds myself accountable. And I'm going to also piggyback on you. Mm-hmm. Definitely rest, recharge, recharge, take time for yourself. I'm a big proponent of that. So as, as a mother, <laughs> yes. as uh, you know, so many different hats I wear, take charge of your life. Yes. Because you only have that one life. That's right. And the other thing, too, is, is you can always listen to educational things where you're cleaning, you're exercising, you're Audibles. cooking. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Podcast. that. Oh, right. without like a doubt. One. I'm sure you're probably yeah. doing so many things and you're yeah. listening on, listening to this on your way to work or That's cleaning right. or right. just sitting at the beauty salon getting your hair done. Um, take time to feel that mindset. That's right. It'll exactly. take you a long and harmonize it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in for in terms of women entrepreneurship and summary of this, there's great women entrepreneurship um, grants out there, funding. There's a lot of businesses out there by women. Please support them. Please support them. Seal Creative. Please just go check her out. So you're scarves. going to love her scarves. Please. Seal Creative. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> She's inspirational. She is. Very much so. And then we'll have lots of resources in the notes, so check that out as well. Absolutely. Yep. So until next week, ladies. Next week. As always. Love it. Loving it. Bye. Bye -bye. See you later.